be close to the bride at all times. Why? Because if something is given to the bride, you are the next person she's going to hand it over to. Adjusting of the bride's dress and dabbing of sweat on her face. The long attachment attached to her dress is quite heavy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome if you're new here. If you have been with me all this while, thank you so so much. I do appreciate you. My name is Bertha and I film our wholesome content here. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. This video is actually part of a series that I'm doing about being a bridesmaid, wedding staff. Yeah. <laughs> if you are interested, please do stick with me. And more importantly, you cannot wait to hear points number four and number five. I'll be with you shortly. Welcome back. I'm going to talk about the duties of a bridesmaid. Okay, so if you don't know, I was a bridesmaid to my friend recently and I thought to do this series, you know, to help anybody who has that task as well. So let's jump right into today's video. The first thing I'll be talking about is ensure that the bride's things are safe and organized. Safe and organized, okay? It's very important. Usually the traditional wedding happens in the home of the bride. Hence, she's going to have change of clothes and everything for the traditional wedding at that place. Now for the white wedding, change usually happens in the hotel or in the guest house, right? So that means that they are going to transport their things to the hotel or to the guest house. Now ensure that during the transition, you do not leave anything out. That is number one. <laughs> ensure that nothing is left out. Because if you leave something out, if, that, if there's a distance between where the thing is and where you are, it's going to be a problem. Time is ticking. People are waiting at church to see the, to see the bride, okay? People are waiting. People have things to do as well, right? In ensuring that her things are safe, you know, she'll be with the camera guy, she'll be with the makeup artist, she'll be with the hairstylist. Somebody may even come in and go out. I digress. Mine is ensure that her things are safe. Organize them and then they are easy for her to reach if she needs them. Carry glue, you also carry thread and then needle along. Why? Because the shoe of the bride can remove or something can happen to it. Even you, your own. You as the bridesmaid, something can happen to your shoe that, you know, you just quickly reach out to it and then you use it. Now the bride can have maybe one of, you know, her buttons or hook or, you know, something can just, you know, tear off how she's trying to wear her, you know, dress or something like that. Even with yours as well. I did, so I am saying it here. <laughs> All right, so please don't forget to carry your thread, your needle, and then your glue. It will, it will save you a lot. Let's go to the next point. Be close to the bride at all times. Now, at this point, I'm giving you actually tips for the main day. Be close to the bride at all times. Why? Because if something is given to the bride, you are the next person she's going to hand it over to. So if you're not there, then she'll be left stranded. She will now be looking for you or give it to somebody else, which is not you, which is supposed to be you. <laughs> right? So please be close to the bride at all times. Things like money, certificates, bouquet. She'll be giving you her bouquet a lot because when they are called forth, she has to, you know, she, she doesn't have to hold anything. You have to be doing that job. So please be around her at all times. Be close at all times. Yeah, be close at all times. So be close at all times for pictures. There are some bridesmaids that they are all over the place when the ceremony is going on. They are just lurching around, roaming about, doing things that they can actually delegate for other people to do. Please, as the bridesmaid or as a chief bridesmaid, please be close to your bride. If she needs something, your assistant, she's, you are the next person when she turns to, she's going to talk to. So if you're not there, then she's stranded. Then she'll end up, you know, asking somebody else to do what you're supposed to do for her, which is not supposed to be so. So please be close to your bride. It's not difficult to do, right? The next point. The next point is for you to know the names of items and then people who are going to have contact with the bride. Now, know the names of things in terms of what a bouquet is because they cannot be asking you, go and bring the bouquet and then you don't know what a bouquet is. You are turning left and right. You don't, you don't know what it is. Please get to know these things. They can also ask you, oh, go and bring the bride's ahinema. So if you don't know what ahinema is, I'm sorry, it's going to be problematic, okay? So get to know the things that the bride is going to use and when they ask you to go and bring it, 
you can easily get access to it. Some people don't even know Kente. <laughs> it will shock you. So get to know the things the brand is going to use. Get yourself familiar with those things. And then you are cool to go for the traditional wedding and the white wedding as well. Get to know the people who will come in contact with the bride, i.e. the cameraman, the makeup artist, the hairstylist, because they will be the, with the bride before she comes out for everybody to see her, right? So know, know them, know their names, Asantua or, you know, Abigail or know their names. Even if you can't really know them until you meet them. Okay, so be familiar with them as well, right? So if they ask you to go and call the makeup artist, you know who, who the person is. Get yourself acquainted or familiar with the things that concern the bride. The next point, which is the fourth point that I know that you guys are waiting for, is adjusting of the bride's dress and dabbing of sweat on her face. But sometimes, you, the bridesmaid, you can be caught of that. Okay, I remember my friend telling me, Bertha, who more be my like better would you move my face now this happened because she requested for the fan you know the hand fan this electronic fan that brides usually hold so in my mind i thought that she's using the hand fan so in my mind there's no way that she's going to sweat when she's using the hand fan only for her to turn to me and say that oh my <laughs> name so i collected this and then i quickly dab her face for her and then you also carry the long attachment attached to her dress it's quite heavy you have to be adjusting it and making sure that it is on point having of the bride's face is also a skill you are not going to hold the what's it called the handkerchief and then be pressing it down her face no 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 you're not going to do it that way you're just going to you know drop it gently on her face dabbing if you did reach out you know what i'm talking about <laughs> you're just going to drop it gently on the face and not that maybe she's not having the hand fan but sometimes the hand fan is not supposed to show so you have to quickly the hand fan is just there to support you so you just dab it and sometimes also you ask her if you know everything is okay like i said in my other video qualities of a bridesmaid well what that video that video is packed guys it is packed <laughs> okay so the last and final point is that ensure that the bride is fed on that very day so i asked her do you want to eat something she was like no she's fine usually in that moment right in moments like that you don't even feel hungry he said i'm okay i'm fine and i understood her so now that i'm saying that ensure that she's fed doesn't mean that you cuckoo force her to no just ask her and then she's going to tell you how she's feeling but guys really let me you know <laughs> say this now as the bridesmaid if you don't eat you are going to feel tired because there's actually no time on the grounds to actually say you are going to eat. So, eat when you get the slightest chance. For my bride, she was <coughs> quick to say, oh, I don't want to eat anything because I don't want to, you know, visit the washroom, you know. Stuff like that, right? Stuff like that, okay? Yeah, so I think that's all I have to say. So that's all I have to say regarding the duties of a bride and maid. Let me hear your thoughts and comments in the comment section, guys. Are you loving this series I'm doing? If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'm going to attend to them. Thank you guys also for your support. And guys, we are almost getting to 1K subscribers. Woo! <laughs> so guys, make it happen. Make it happen. Share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that there's this amazing channel where you know, amazing content happened there. Yeah, so share, share to as many people as possible. With this, I've come to the end of my video. Thank you guys once again for tuning in, for coming, for staying with me till the end. And see you guys. Bye. Somebody like me. Somebody like me. Wondering how to make